a small metal sphere A has a charge of negative 4, okay, negative 4 um, nanocoulombs is placed on a stand. Were electrons added or removed? Okay, so that's a bit of a weird question to ask, but what they mean is the following. They mean, imagine that you originally have a sphere A and it doesn't have a charge. That means the positives and negatives are perfectly balanced, and so the overall charge is zero. Then they tell us that the, the charge is now negative four. So, because remember, all things in life would have a charge of zero unless we do something to it to give it a specific charge. So how would you go from here? How would you change it to that? How would you make it more negative? Would you add electrons to it or would you remove electrons? Now remember that electrons are negative. Electrons are negative. So if you took this thing over here, how would you make it more negative? Would you take electrons away or would you add more electrons? Well, you would add more electrons because if you add electrons, then this whole object ends up becoming more negative. So it says, yeah, were electrons added or removed? For one mark, we're just going to say electrons were added. Then it says, how does the number of protons, which are the positive things, compare with the number of electrons, which are negative, in sphere A? Write down less than, greater than, or e and give a reason for your answer. Okay, that's a very easy question, guys. When you have equal numbers of protons and electrons, then what would your overall charge be? Well, that would equal zero, because your positives and your negatives are the same, so it would balance out. But when you have a charge of negative four, then that means it's got more electrons, right? So it would have to have more electrons than protons. Because if electrons are more than protons, then object will be negative. And if your electrons are less than your protons, then the object must be positive. Okay, so how does the number of protons compare to the number of electrons? Well, the number of protons will be less than. Because they said, how does the protons compare? So we'll say the protons are less than, and then we can say, we can just say that, um, well, sphere A is negatively charged, which means it has more electrons than protons. Or you could even say less protons than electrons. Whatever you want to do, just remember it's got, it's got more electrons and less protons. This question says that 10 to the power of 13 electrons are now added to sphere A. Calculate the new charge on sphere A. Okay, now I don't want you to just jump and think about formulas. I want you to actually think about this carefully. So we've got the sphere A, right? Here's sphere A, and it's currently negative 4. So because it's negative, it means that it already has a lot of electrons because electrons are negative. Now we're going to take 10 to the 13 electrons. Do you know how many that is? That is so many electrons. The number 10 to the 13 is 1 with 13 zeros. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They are going to take that many. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They are going to take that many electrons and they're going to go add them to this molecule. So that will this charge or sphere. This sphere is then going to become what? Even more negative because every single electron is negative. And now they're going to go add that many electrons to it. Okay. Now on our formula sheets, they tell us that if you take one electron, if you take one electron, it has a charge of negative because we know electrons are negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. This is the charge of one electron. Okay. Now imagine you have this many of those, what would the overall charge be? Well, wouldn't you just multiply those two numbers together? Now remember, we do have a formula for that, where 
this number over here is number of electrons. This over here is the overall charge. And then this here is the charge of an electron. So we know that this is how many electrons we have. It's 10 to the 13. So we could fill that in over there. Um, so let's just go clear up a bit of space here. So we could say 10 to the 13. Now we don't know how much charge that is going to be. Remember I told you we should just multiply them, but this formula is going to do it for us. Now when we use this formula, we don't put the negative of the electron, so you just keep it as a positive. Okay, now if you are to go get Q by itself, you would realize that you're going to end up multiplying these two things, but that's also what we said over here. It makes sense. And so we're going to say 10 to the 13 multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And that gives us, it's either going to say 0 0.0034516 coulombs, or you should write it as um, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Okay, so that is how much charge this is over here. Now, they want to, and, and remember, it is actually negative. So we don't put a negative on the formula but we must remember that that is negative because they are electrons. So imagine you've got a situation where you've got the sphere, right? And it's already got a charge of negative four nanocoulombs. What is nanocoulombs? We need to talk about that. Remember, we've got these four different things. You've got um, millicoulomb, microcoulomb, nanocoulomb, and picocoulomb. Now, to convert them, we use times 10 to the minus 3, times 10 to the minus 6, times 10 to the minus 9, and then times 10 to the minus 12. So if we have this one, then we could actually rewrite it as negative 4 times 10 to the negative 9 coulombs. Okay. So imagine you have this charge, which is negative 4 times 10 to the negative 9 and then you add even more negative things to it, what would the overall charge be? Well, you could say negative 4 times 10 to the negative 9, and then you add that new charge on, and so you're going to end up minusing, and so you're going to end up with a final charge for that one of, uh, let's write it up here. All right, you should end up with negative 1,604 four times 10 to the negative six coulombs. If you did, you or if you did want to, you could also write this as, um, you see how times 10 to the minus six is micro coulomb. So you could also write it as minus one comma six oh four micro coulomb. So both of those are correct.